Hi everyone, it's Ethan. Welcome back to Town City State. Today, we're going to be ranking U.S. hotel brands. I have a list of about 40 U.S. hotel brands in front of me, and we're going to put them into a tier list. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we got Best Western to kick off the list. Honestly, they're good. I'm going to put them in C. They're not great. Uh, they're, a lot of the hotels are pretty dated, and <laughs> honestly, I don't love staying in a Best Western. If I can avoid it, I will. But um, yeah, they're they're doing a little remodeling here and there around their chains. But yeah, I think I think C is a safe safe tier for Best Western. Um, True by Hilton. This is a this is this is budget done right. I think uh, True's uh, Hilton's doing a really good thing with True and their True brand. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in B. I I know it's controversial. Their B is where you'd expect to see like like the Marriott, like big Marriott brands, but but I think Hilton has got a good thing going here with their true brand. Uh, most of the hotels are brand new. Now, talk to me in 10 years when these guys are a little bit dated, but for now, it's a B tier, um, which is pretty good for, for a budget brand. Um, Element by Weston. Uh, I haven't stayed in one of these. These are more on the bougie end. <laughs> I'm going to put them in A. I see them a lot in like snow towns in like Idaho, Colorado, um, probably Utah. They've got some Element stuff. Maybe maybe even like Maine. I don't know if they do these in the East, but like uh, Element Hotel, really modern, stylish buildings and hotels and um, pretty cozy, all things considered. Um, okay. So, Home Two Suites by Hilton. Uh, this is a brand that can go either way. Um, most of the buildings are pretty new and reliable, and um, I like that about them. <laughs> uh, they, I don't know if I want to put them in the B category or the C category. I think for right now, I think B is okay with them. Um, they're kind of... I, I compare them a lot to the trues. I'm either like switching when I'm on a road trip and I want to go to a Hilton, it's either between these two usually. So, um, yeah, I think B tier is a good, good place for home two suites. La Quinta or La Quinta. I really don't know how to say it. I think it's La Quinta. Uh, let me know in the comments, but yeah, so La Quinta, you know, in 20, in, in 2005 or 2010, you could say they were F like really old, really dated, but honestly, nowadays, you know, I want to put them in C, and I think Best Western, I'm going to move down to D. Our first move of the day, I think I think Best Western, like La Quinta is a, is a C. Um, again, 20, 50, 2010 down here and 20, uh, you know, 2005 down here, but I think um, La Quinta is a C. La Quinta is a solid C. Um, I would always choose these brands before this one just because, you know, it's a little bit more reputable and, and they have an honors program that I like. Um, but yeah, La Quinta C. Courtyard by Marriott, a great brand, I think, on par with the Element um, brand. I think these are both Marriott as well. So um, yeah, so Courtyard always, it's, it's Courtyard is definitely in competition with a brand such as like Hilton Garden Inn. But I think... Um, I think they're doing a they're doing a really good thing. Uh, really new buildings, really nice modern rooms. So, yeah, courtyard definitely in the A tier. Okay, residence in by Marriott. <laughs> this is gonna be controversial, but I'm gonna put them in the I'm gonna put them in the D category. I know a lot of these hotels are really old and dated and almost yucky, <laughs> to use uh, a word. <laughs> um, so yeah, like. I think Mar Residence Inn by Marriott, D tier, Best Western. Would I stay in La Quinta over Residence Inn? It's debatable, which is why I kind of want to move it up to C, but mm, you know what? That's a good point, actually. <sighs> no, no, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to teach them a lesson. They need to do some re remodeling and, and get their brand back up because, cause, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ramada. Okay, the Ramada. Interesting hotel brand. I always compare these a lot to like the Crown Plazas and stuff. I think Ramada goes in the D tier. <clears throat> Nothing special. Not as good as La Quinta. Definitely not as good as these brands. So yeah, D tier is where the Ramada goes. Hyatt Regency, I would put with the Hiltons up here. Um, a good Hyatt like brand. Um, not as good as the Grand Hyatt, which we'll get into in a second. But yeah, definitely solid. 
Um, let me just scoot that back up there. <laughs> uh, Aloft Hotels. I think this is a Marriott brand, if I'm not mistaken, or or Hyatt brand. Either way, um, I've never stayed in one, so I'm gonna put it in C. I think they're I think they're B tier. Um, you know what? Actually, I've 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 interacted with it, so I think it's I definitely think it's good in B tier. Um, Grand Hyatt. I'm gonna put in the the A tier. Grand Hyatt's are really good. I think they're on par with these these brands up here. So um, big buildings, but 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 usually pretty solid. Hyatt's usually pretty solid brand. You won't, you won't ever find me putting a Hyatt. I think below B. Um, so Motel Six. Okay, I think we have our first F. <laughs> I'll never stay at a Hotel Six. Even if I'm in a pinch, I'll I'll try to squeeze because the pricing difference, like this will usually be around 60 and this will usually be around like 80, 90. And I could do the 20 bucks to, to, to get some points here, stay in a better hotel, usually in a better area, usually in a better, better area. Um, so yeah, so as far as budgets go, I'm not a fan of, of this kind of brand. Um, JW Marriott, we have our first S. JW Marriott's are awesome. Um, the one in Los Angeles, so big, so modern in downtown. It's it's really a really great to look at and great to spend a night in. Um, so yeah, Homewood Suites. This is going to be a bit controversial <laughs> if you're in the know with, about hotels and U.S. hotels. Homewood Suites is beloved for some reason. I think they're super cheap. I've been I'm I'm planning a trip to Texas and I'm trying to find a Homewood Suites that has like a room and a living room so I can have a pull out couch because there's two of us, um, and so I can't I can't really find a good one. <laughs> they're really old often and they're in really sketchy parts of town usually. Um, I am staying in one so we'll see if this moves up. But for now, I've stayed in a couple. I've actually had to move from a Homewood Suites to like a Hampton Inn in the middle of a trip just because it was so noisy on the road. But yeah, for now, D. Um, I won't go any further with Homewood Suites. <laughs> kind of a kind of a history with them. Um, Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott. This is definitely... Now, now, I can never tell the difference between these two. Fairfield and Residence Inn, they're one and the same to me, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in C. Um, I think they really need to change their branding. It looks too much with the, about looks too much like the residence in um in their buildings and in their branding so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in c i know the difference but it's very slight so yeah so c category for that one four seasons obvious s tier hotel um no question about it four seasons is right up there with the jw marriott's and the w's so and the westons which we'll get to um so yeah Nights Inn, uh, definitely an F tier <laughs> hotel. Uh, nothing special about the Nights Inn. Does not need to be above F tier. Kind of crappy. Um, yeah, I'll just move on. Pro- try not to stay in a Nights Inn. I've I don't really have anything good to say about them. <laughs> sketchy, sketchy areas. Um, and if you're and if you you know a hotel is like your home for the night, so. You know, if you need to spend the extra money to even go to like a residence inn or Best Western or even a Homewood Suites, spend it. I, you know, if you don't have it, that's fine. But there's even better choices in the F tier hotels. Um, so yeah, like the Super Eights, and but we'll get to that. Uh, Hampton Inn. Um, I'm gonna put these in C only because I've seen really good Hampton Inns and really bad Hampton Inns. Um, there's no in between <laughs> uh, for me, so I will put them in C. Um, they've been doing a lot of remodeling, a lot of brand new Hampton Inns, but there's some, there's a majority of them, especially in like towns that are off the freeway, like not near the freeway, um, that need that need some TLC. So uh, Hampton Inn and C tier, definitely. Um, we're gonna go to Holiday Inn. Okay, Holiday Inn. I would put these guys in a right right next to the Hampton Inns. Um, obviously, this is a Hilton brand. This is um, I forget. I think this is Intercontinental, but yeah. Anyway, Holiday Inn, okay choice for a for a freeway night. I will stay there. I I will stay at a Holiday Inn. Um, so I I think they're good in the C tier right next to Hampton Inn. These two are pretty comparable, and and so are these three actually. Uh, La Quinta's getting there, and I, I bumped I bumped this one up a little bit. So <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, Super 8. 
We're going to put this in, we're going to put it in F, but it's the best F, I think. If you, <laughs> um, that's debatable. We'll get to the, we'll get to the ones down low. Um, obviously we'll get to them, but yeah, F tier for Super 8. Spring Hill Suites, very comparable to the Courtyards and the Grand Hyatts. Um, pretty much often in a good area, um, nice hotel they're modernizing and i think it's comparable to these brands so i'm gonna go ahead and put them in a pretty good pretty good marriott brand actually uh intercontinental okay uh drake would put this in f because he does not say at the intercontinental <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and put this in we're gonna go ahead and put them in b <clears throat> i don't love the intercontinental hotels i've never i haven't spent too much time in them that, like some people might put them in a sure but they're just meh like they're meh um waldorf astoria oh my gosh if you can stay at a waldorf astoria stay at a waldorf astoria they're such a great brand of hotel and really well respected and always in a nice part of town and it's a lot of money don't get me wrong but if you could do it maybe once <laughs> every five ten years definitely definitely uh definitely do it if you can <laughs> Marriott Hotel. So just the Marriott plain brand. I'm going to go ahead and put in B. Um, a lot of dated hotels. I never come across like a new Marriott unless it's like Courtyard or Spring Hill Suites. So I'm going to go ahead and put Marriott in a B tier. And um, okay, so Crown Plaza. I'm going to go ahead and put Crown Plaza right next to the Homewood Suites Ramada. This is a generally, this is a really safe, not safe to stay at, but this is a safe, like these are all D tier hotels. <laughs> for me so in my in my opinion these are all d tier safe d tier hotels they they don't need to be moved um you can debate a few of them but i think uh, they deserve the spot they're in okay comfort suites f tier you know <sighs> there's nothing i have to say about comfort suites it's just one of those hotels that you stay at if it's next to hampton inn you'll stay at the hampton inn you know what i'm saying or if it's next to holiday Inn, you'll stay at the holiday inn so on and so forth uh, same with Drury Suites. It's one of those hotels that you come across on the highway. And same with Extended Stay. We've got a lot of <laughs> the F category is, you know what, am I going to do it to Extended Stay? I could I could put it in, in a D tier. Um, but I don't even th I don't think they're good at, as good as like these brands. I th like, you know, if there is a in between the D and an F, if there was like an E category, this would go in it <laughs> for sure. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put them in F. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put them in F. Um, so these are our last hotels. There's nothing after Doubletree. Uh, Weston is dupli duplicated, so I, I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Um, but we're only going to put one of them. So we'll have an extra Weston at the end of the tier list. But Sheridan, okay, Sheridan, Marriott brand. I'm going to go ahead and put them in C. Um, pretty solid. I would compare it to like the Hampton Inn and the Fairfield. Um, some would put them in B. I just don't think they're there. Uh the buildings are usually old. I don't I don't see a lot of new Sheridans. And yeah, so that's why I'm going to put them in C. Um overall customer service. Oh, by the way, I haven't even talked about parking. Hotels that make you pay for parking are really it, it almost makes me want to like drag these down and like delete the S tier because hotels that make you pay for parking is it's ridiculous. You're already paying for the hotel. You shouldn't be having have to pay for parking. These hotels I know don't a lot of the time and Hampton Inns sometimes um but I just wish you didn't have to pay for parking in hotels <laughs> so yeah um quality in and suites again we're gonna put this in the f tier it's one of those hotels that if you can skip it go to a better brand it's your home for the night um days in okay days in some would put it in c some would put it in d I'm gonna go ahead and put it in F. Yeah, I know. I do not like Days Inn. I've never had a good experience. Um, I've planned trips to stay at Days Inn even, and I pull up and I'm just like, yeah, I cannot stay here. So I'll, I'll, I'll you know, find the money and like go out for a Hampton Inn. But Days Inn, I don't know. They, they, they're, they're not trying. It just seems like they don't try. Uh, these hotels over here definitely don't try. these hotels are trying these hotels are, are pretty good and so on but these just don't try um <laughs> the hilton garden inn um bit of a controversial take i feel like all my takes are controversial but um you know some would put them 
in in a you know with the grand hyatts and the and the courtyards they're very comparable to courtyards i know like branding wise but i don't think they're there yet they're they're renovating they're 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 making strides towards the a but until they they get their building and their customer service i have some of the worst customer service i've received is at hilton garden Inns. prove me wrong um but yeah anyway b tier <laughs> is where the hilton garden Inn will go um, we're going to lose S tier as we scroll down, and this becomes like a full thing, um, but obviously it's still there. So we are going to go to W Hotels. Ah, speaking of S tiers, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the S tier. And this W Hotels, such a good brand. Um, I mean, it's W. It's just a W. <laughs> it's really good. The best one I've ever stayed at is in, uh, I think, downtown Boston. Um, beautiful hotels really spacious, really nice, modern new rooms. Um, very good customer service, very good customer service. Okay. And, um, okay. So then we have Curio Collection by Hilton. I think Curio is a solid A. Um, Hilton is doing great things with its Curio and Tapestry Collection. A bit of a bougier hotel, but not in the way that the S tiers are. They're, they're trying something new, and I really appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in A. Um, Hilton, where Hilton is not trying anything new, <laughs> is the Embassy Suites. This is a hotel brand that is just middle of the road, C tier. They, 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 for what they charge for parking, you'd think they'd be in the S tier, but this is a C tier hotel brand. Um, if you have different opinions, let me know in the comments. Uh, okay, then we have Hilton. I think it's unfair if I if I put Hilton in an, in a different category than the Marriott, just the plain Hilton Marriott brands. Um, yeah, it's just Hilton. They're they're really good. They're pretty good. Uh, the buildings tend to be older, but they keep them well maintained, even more so than Marriott. So, I I'm debating putting it in A, but I think I'm gonna keep it in B for now. A really good customer service though on the Hilton, just the Hilton brand Hiltons. Um, as far as A Hiltons go, we're going to put Tapestry in an A category. And um, just like Curio, for the same reasons, pretty much. The Ritz-Carlton is going in S. You already know why. If you've ever stayed at a Ritz-Carlton, it is the most bougie thing. And um, honestly, it's really good. The food's always good. Customer service, housekeeping, really good, and they have th this hotel has a ton of amenities wherever you go, and it's in really the locations that they have these in are just so random and and just really nice, and and I really like it. <laughs> the Ritz Carlton is nothing bad to say about. So the Westin Resort and hotels, I'm gonna also put. I'm not gonna put them in B. I'm gonna put them in S uh, for the same reasons as I'll put like the W. Um, and the Four Seasons, really good, just rooms, everything, customer service. These are, you know, these are top tier hotels when you see them is basically what I'm trying to say. So we've just did, we just did West End. So um, it looks like our last hotel is the Double Tree by Hilton. And I think this may be my most controversial opinion. I'm going to go ahead and put the Double Tree. You know, I'm debating F. I'm not even kidding because I've had some horrible <laughs> experience with Doubletree, but I also have had a few good ones. Nothing outstanding, nothing great, nothing even good, honestly. Um, I've had, like, recently, oh my gosh, I won't say the city, but this Doubletree, you can tell that the Doubletree brand, like Hilton, bought it from, like, one of these guys, and then they just turned it into a Doubletree. Really not cool. I'm going to go ahead and put them in D. But yeah, that's the list, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and this, let me know what you think of my list. <laughs> I think it's pretty solid. Um, I've stayed in most of these hotels, and I have a pretty good understanding of what they kind of like hold as far as amenities and, and the branding and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you for watching Town City State, and I'll see you in the next one.